Hey everyone, this is Travis from iConnectivity, and today we're going to show you how to upgrade, downgrade, and reload the firmware on your iConnect device. Specifically today, we're going to be using the iConnect Audio 4 Plus, so let's look at that. First thing you want to do is get a MIDI player of some sort. So I actually like Sweet MIDI Player, they have a free trial. So just click on that, go to your download page, and then go to the player for whatever software you have, Mac or Windows. Just click the download. Secondly, you're going to need the firmware that you want to load onto your device, of course. So we're going to go to iConnectivity.com, then Support, Downloads, and then under Latest Product Firmware, find your device. So the latest version is 1.1.1. Um, so you can click on this little guy over here, this little arrow, and download that. Or you can do 1.1.0, which you click on this file right here. If we look at iConfig, we're currently on 1.1.1 on this guy, so we're actually going to downgrade the software. So let's do that. Let's open our sweet mini player right here. Um, and before we actually load this firmware on there, we have to put the device into what's called bootloader mode. And this is just allows it to accept um, basically the MIDI file to create it. So what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold on the front button here. It's going to go red right on the top and then shut off. If you press and hold again, it turns on. Keep holding though, and wait for the yellow lights to flicker back and forth. So if you see yellow lights flickering back and forth, that means you are in bootloader mode. In Sweet MIDI Player, you want to go to MIDI and then MIDI Setup. Click on Core MIDI, it'll probably be on this DSL music. Then make sure the loader is what you've selected in all the outputs here. Just hit OK. And then all we have to do is drag our version that we want on top of this. So I'm going to downgrade to 1.1.0. So I'm going to drag it on top, let go. Now let's play it. So when this is playing, you'll actually notice on the front panel that two yellow lights have showed up above the uh, alternating yellow ones that were already there and a green one shows up and under. Now when this device this is actually ran through it'll take like 20 seconds or something like that. Um, you actually see the green ones go to the bottom and the yellow ones will still be going back and forth as they do. Almost there. Should be about 20 bars standardly. So here we go. And 20, there you go. Alright, so now you see the two lights have gone to the bottom and the yellow one's still alternating. All we need to do now is power off the device and back on. So we're going to press and hold. And it should power off. Press and hold again. Just for a second there. And we're back on. So now if we go into iConfig, I'm going to hit switch device to refresh it. And audio 4 plus click OK and now we're on 1.1.0 and that is simply how you upgrade, downgrade or reload the firmware on any of your iConnect devices. If you have any questions please let us know.